I haven't got a place to live at the moment, so I'm see- sleeping in the uh, press conference area. Chairs, not the most comfortable, but, you know, lovely wallpaper. <sighs> Need to find a place to live. A nice apartment in Madrid would be lovely. Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome to episode two of the Spain Journeyman. Got a few things to go through and a few sort of explanations and stuff like that to go through. But first, I want to say a massive thank you. I I am wearing my rebel hat, which I got a a couple of months ago. But I'm also wearing my Imperial um, Academy hoodie that Raph Roberts was very, very kind in getting me for my birthday. Um, Also, underneath... My whole ensemble is a uh, Raph Roberts uh, ensemble today. My Doctor Who t-shirt, which I absolutely love. I think he even bought some cat treats. Um, I also, so thank you very much, mate. I also received this t-shirt, which I adore. Which is one of my favourite bands of all time. If I could hold it up like a fucking normal person. Foo Fighters, absolutely loving that. There was no name in the package, so whoever got this for me, please let me know in the comments so I can say thank you properly. And also, we got a few um, patrons to get through, and that's Nidros. I saw what you did, Nidros. Right at the end of the month, he upped his bit, uh, he upped his thing, so it, it, I, it would give me more, and then put it back to what it was before. Thank you very much, mate. Daryl Saunders is upped his pledge, or join up to his pledge i think i just forgot to write it down rasmus i'm gonna say peterson it could be peterson but i'm, I'm feeling peterson and martin ireland has also up to his pledge so thank you so much guys i really really appreciate it right <sighs> let's talk about what happened in the summer i know none of you none of you were expecting this i tweeted out a couple of little sort of questions and pe- nobody guessed it um, I wouldn't have guessed it. Spain fucking job. It's the fucking Spain job. Spain. They're good at football and everything. Um, so what happened is I was looking at the Premiership and I, I actually I wrote down who who I got offered. Um, so I quit as Wolfsburg manager, like as we saw at the end of last season, to hopefully sort of get some interest. Stuttgart offered me the job, turned them, declined the interview. Uh, Werder Bremen declined the interview. Bayern Munich. Really enjoyed telling them to fuck off. I couldn't get another German dog. That would just feel like I'm cheating on Wolfsburg. Um, And uh, then the Tottenham approached me. And I did the interview. And they offered me the job. £72 million. I don't have a massive affinity with Tottenham in real life. I don't really have that connection. I think they're a good team. And also a a number of other YouTubers are also doing that uh, Tottenham save. So I thought, no, let, let, let them have that. Um, and then, and there was no other premiership jobs that came up and then Hungary offered me the job and I suddenly went, Oh, hello, let me check the international, see, see who's about. Um, I would have ideally like England would have been fun, but ideally I would have gone to the Netherlands cause I know like half their squad, but the Spain job was available and I thought, fuck it, I'll apply it. And they offered me the job. So I know the my I think my last video my the press previous video the press conference video was the most disliked video I think I've ever done it's on about 130 dislikes thanks for that guys cheers thanks for that um <laughs> but and I, I guess uh, you know a lot of people find international management boring and it's not going to be a long term thing we've got the world cup in 2 years and that's what we're doing we unless like the liverpool job came up and then then fuck this shit, we're off to Liverpool. Um, maybe even Bournemouth, because that's another one I'd like to do. But we've got two years. We've got some fucking shitty European International League thing, which is supposed to be like, replaces friendlies to make it a bit more exciting. You know, don't We don't really care about that. We'll play a few and see how we go. Oh, well, today we're just playing Germany in the European League Division A. So there's multiple divisions, three teams in a group, Top one goes through to the semi-finals because there's only four groups in the group A. Um, I'll show you all the groups. So there's four groups, each with three teams. These are all the best 12 teams in the world, apparently. Um, if you win, you go through to the semi-finals of the knockout thing. And then if you come third, you get relegated, I guess, into the Division B, right? Um, let's have a look at what do they expect us to do. Um, where is it? competitions so they don't even mention (laughs) that other competition and this is brilliant right world cup qualifiers um qualify 
right? Call up, which is okay, it's fine. And they also said in the World Cup, don't get embarrassed, which is amazing. Spain have actually dropped down a little bit um, in the sort of FIFA rankings. Um, we're, I think we're 15th in the FIFA rankings. Where is it? Hello, FIFA rankings. Hello. Where is it? Um, nation. There we go. 15th in the world, which is a little bit disappointing. Below the likes of United States, Belgium, Russia, Serbia. Um, Holland are second in the world. That's okay. We have got... I've just done my first squad. Um, so we're just about to confirm the squad. And... There's a few familiar faces. Azipura is going to come in. He was the one that was kept getting told that he was going to get called up. And then their, their manager kept coming out and saying he needs to play for a bigger team. Ironically, he's just left Wolfsburg, which is a bit gutting. He's gone to Barcelona. It's fair enough, I suppose, isn't it, really? Barcelona for 25 million. I thought they could have got more for him. Also, we've got two of our old goalkeepers. Bernardos. Adam Bernardos who we had at Wolfsburg for two years uh, before we sold him to Southampton, and Blanco, who was with us for... Well, he replaced Bernardos um, and went to... Uh, is that my fucking light flashing? My studio light's just gone freaky. Um, who we replaced with Blanco, and uh, he was absolutely superb that season. And uh, But we, we, you know, Steve Brown... Right, so we've got two goalkeepers that we know really well. We've got an attacking midfielder or central midfielder that we know really well. I've decided, because, you know, what a better way, place to experiment than the Spanish national team to play five at the back or three at the back, however, whatever takes your fancy. It's more of a three because they're so attacking. Um, it's something I wanted to do for a while. It's only a slight adaptation on the formation we already used. We have that as a backup. We're going to see, you know, how we get on with that formation. So like I said, if you were disappointed that I took international job, I said I was going to do it at one stage. We're also definitely going to the Premiership. So this is not like the last team we do. It's just a little sort of detour on our journeyman. Um, and then we're going to England and finishing up there. We're always going to do some international management. I'd always planned to. Um, apparently we've axed some stars. You know, I don't care, man. You know, um, beats Ramos to Spain call. Oh, yeah, that's fine. It's, we we know Garcia is the other goalkeeper we've got. A 20-year-old, um, I think he's Barcelona. Yep. Uh, Barcelona's first choice goalkeeper at 20, who looks pretty decent. Um, five return. Yep. We're going to play Germany as our first game in charge, which is which is going to be interesting. Going to be a little tester. I don't think the board give a shit about these competitions. So um, we might just sort of play the one today and then skip to the World Cup qualifiers. What also we're going to do is keep an eye on, keep a close eye on Wolfsburg this year because I really want to see if they can take the next step. They've got Conte as their manager. It's not a bad replacement. It's a, it's a small step down from me. You know, I don't even need to say that, do I? But, you know, it's a small step down from me, but I think they could do it this season. Hopefully, I'll, let's have a look at the transfers after his, this finishing. It's ever so slowly loading. Right. Any time now, game. Just keep on chugging. There we go. Um, <clears throat> boop, boop, boop. Okay, yeah, all good shit. All good shit. Let's have a look at Wolfsburg. Okay, so they're thirteenth. They've only played one game, so which they lost two one to Bayern. Fair enough. Fair enough. We beat them, but, you know, not everyone can. Not everyone's got the skill. So, yeah, Antonio Conte is their manager. Sven is the captain. Paslak's uh, vice-captain. Will Overgaard and Quicksilver is their hot prospect. Disappointingly, they've sold a few players that I wouldn't have. A um, couple of youngsters. Dimitric, who was like a sensational centre-back in the back half of last season. Absolutely rock solid. They just fogged him off for £19 million. How much did we pay for him? Free. Yeah, it's not a bad little profit. You know, profit. Uh, it'll do. Um, Kotov, one of the youngsters, they sold 4.2. Azapura, 25 million, but it is up to 42 million if he plays games, so that's not too bad. Amanuke is just a backup. And the other one, big one, surprising one, they sold Kippers to one of their big rivals who finished third last year, Schalke, for 31 million, going up to 51 million. It's a good amount of money. You're never going to get more. He's 28. It's a tidy profit. But I think he could have done a job for you. I think he could have done a job. So they sold 82, bought in 64. And we'll have a quick look at who they bought in. 
This is a striker, Turkish striker, 23-year-old, bald as a coot. Um, decent. He's, yeah, he's decent. He's a decent player. 49 million is valued. He was on the transfer list for a, about a whole season. He wanted to leave Spartak Moscow. Alex Antwi, not the brother of the other Antwi, a right winger. I suppose if they're going to play wingers, they need actual wingers then. Joel Gamperl, um, a left midfielder. German left midfielder and uh, Juan de Dios Meza from Club America for £11 million, another right winger. So that's the, the, fair enough. He obviously wants to play wingers. Um, although Conte doesn't play wingers, does he? He plays wing backs, doesn't he? Okay, we'll just go with that. So we've got one superstar player, and that is Vincent Hill. I don't know. I, I just went for the in between Gill and Hill. Or Hill. Um, who is a Barcel- Chelsea legend. He was at Barcelona, went to Chelsea, and has been, like, amazing. 7.72 in 38 games for the AI is just ridiculous. He's going to be our key man. We have... Spain apparently has one good left-back. The second best left-back is this guy that I could find, like, scraped from the barrel. 29-year-old, has got two caps. <sighs> yeah, it's decent. The red names are ones that I had already had on the shortlist when we were at Wolfsburg. So, right, let's skip ahead to the Germany game. I really hope this isn't a sign of things to come. I literally just said goodbye to you and then this pops up. Our best player that I was just telling you about is out for two weeks with a hamstring injury. So he's going to miss both these games. So we need to pick a replacement. <sighs> Fun time. I hope this isn't a sign of things to come at our time in Spain. Also, like one of the reasons I went to Spain is it's because it's an easier way to gain reputation as well. Because we're still not that highly re- reputable. Um, so I'm hoping that this will help our profile somewhat. And we just need to do, we're already up to three and a half star. If we can end our, do we have a good World Cup and stuff, we might be on four star. I'm not expecting to win it, but in decent time, hopefully we'll be on four star. Right, see you at the game time. Right, here we are, picking the team for the first day against Germany. We're going with Blanco in goal. We know experienced hands. We know he was superb for us when he was with us. Easy choice, I think. The youngster will get his chance. He's going to be a very good goalkeeper. Bernardos is going to be our third choice. Um, we're going to go with uh, Perez as our right attacking wing back because he's supremely attacking and he doesn't know how to play there. And you know my history of playing players that have never played a position, especially right backs. So we'll do that. We can't actually tell him to train it, can we? Oh, just suck it up, mate. Just suck it up. Um, our left back isn't quite back from injury for the first game, so we'll play the other guy, Domingo Pascual. Um, at centre back positions, we're going to go with. I want to play this guy because I want to say his name Juan Dingo Bueno Prido and Jose Javier Jarez. <laughs> Amazing. Um, but we'll go with uh, Lopez. We'll sort them out which positions they're best at. Um, and Sanchez as our main three. And then central midfield, Azapura is definitely starting. He's going to be a key man for us. I don't care if he's not the best player for that position. He is our key man. And we'll go for Palacios on the left. Um, Attacking midfielder, we've got our options. I quite like the look of Ruben Sione. Um, 31 years old, 12 caps. He's got some decent stats. Um, I don't mind him. I think he's pretty decent. Or we've got... uh, Johnny Perez, Johnny's great, a great name. Um, 20 dribbling, oh, that, okay, I quite like the dribbling aspect there. You don't see many 20s, you've always got to enjoy a 20 when you see it. Up front, we're going to go with Juanzo Gonzalez, because he's one of the world's best strikers. Although only 14 caps and one goal, I'm hoping it's because they played him out of position. So that's the excuse I'm going to use. Who's he playing for? Bloody Dortmund, it's bloody Dortmund. Cool cities. Um, I might then go with... Uh, he's at Bayern now, isn't he? £90 million striker, Exposito. Um, we've got Francisco Javier Mans, 31 years old. Two caps, one goal. Playing for Watford now. Scoring... Yeah. Okay, that's not really excited me. Um, or we could go for Abel Serna who I very much like. Only 24 years old. Three-star potential. He's a good all-rounder. I'm going with Abel Cerner. How many caps has he got? None. We're giving him a debut. That's the sort of manager we are. You know, we don't go on reputation. We go on whatever our scouts tell us is best. Um, And we've got 12 subs, haven't we? That's every player in the history of time, isn't it? 
Um, centre back, centre back. Did it, did it, did it. Right, tic tacs. Um, who's best as a stopper? Can anyone play stopper? None of you can play stopper. Um, he's pretty immense, that guy, isn't he? And we've got Lopez, not quite so immense. Perez, don't worry about it, mate. Yeah, don't don't worry about it. Palacios can play there, and we'll play you. I don't. I'm not sure if I want to box. Yeah, fuck it. Box to box. Let's play him where they want. Yeah, he plays where he wants. He plays where he wants. Both of these are complete forwards, so we won't play them where they want. We'll go deep line for you, and you could go advance forward attack. Yes, that is it, my friends. Similar instructions to how we played with Wolfsburg. Very much the same, just a slight switch at the back. One less midfielder, one extra defender. Bit more attacking wing backs. Right, let's do it. And just in case you were wondering, even though you, you saw the press conference, let me show you. Eventually, when the teams have warmed up. Okay. If we go into oh, it's great. You know, oh, it's a special day. Opposition instructions. Only the one, Harry Owen, is our assistant manager, and he's. Let's see what his team talks are like, because this is a big tester for Harry Owen. Can he make decent team talks? Is he gonna? Because hopefully we'll take him with us when we go to the next team. Okay, we are favourites here against Germany. Okay, we'll go with we'll go with Owen to begin with. Um, let's go with a bit of faith though, just to get that, just to get some. Okay, nobody cares. Nobody gives a shit. Okay, nobody cares that I have got any faith, and I'm not sure if I have got any faith, but we're going with it. Here we go, Spain versus Germany in that weird league thing. We're not gonna we're not gonna concentrate too much after this game. It's just because this is the first game. I wanted to see how we got on, and then what we're gonna do is concentrate on the World Cup qualifiers, which haven't been drawn yet, um, and the qualifying group, and then the World Cup. So that this this series, this Spain bit of the journey, is only probably gonna be about eight episodes long, if that. Before we, but I'll keep an eye on the job market, ready to pounce on the Liverpool job if and when it comes up. As a poor with a great tackle because that's what he does. Like Gordon Bennett. On to Blau. As a poor misses that one. Oh no, no, no. And there's the first goal. Edwards. That's not German. He's cheat there. Joe Edwards is not a German name. I'm not having that. Cheating. Look into it. Look into it, yeah? Joe Edwards. Ridiculous. It's a good finish to be fair. <sighs> Okay, not our best start, my friends. They're, they're on us like things that get on things. That's what they're on us like. Okay, this... this I'm worried. Uh, what's Owen going to do? This just won't do. Oh, Owen's demanding. I like it. I think we go to our counter-attacking tactic because this worked against the big teams. Germany are a big team. I think we do it. It's a, it's a bit of a ch change-up, people, but at least... They're actually playing in the right positions, ish. Um, let's go with Gonzalez or Cerna up front. No, Gonzalez, Gonzalez, all, all day, Gonzalez. Um, neither of you can play there. So, right, it's fine. It's fine. Um, Carlos Flores, you can go in there. It's a deep line floor, floorward. Yeah, a deep line floorward. And then Javi can come in there. Sweet ace. Sweet days. Right, start the second half. Just want an improvement. Just want to see an improvement because this was disappointing. They've had 10 shots. Admittedly, five long, but we've only had a couple. So hopefully we can make... An... Oh, yeah, there we go. We doubled it already. I call that a success, whatever happens. Right. <clears throat> Good header away. Pascual. Right. Palacios. Not Wilson. He's Honduran. Azapura, Perez, not Hilton. He's a blogger. Oh, okay. Interesting there. Interesting, Perez. I like your thinking. 
We've definitely performed better in the second half. Much, much better. Right. Can we can we get a bit of defence work going here? There, yeah, Gordon Bennett lost out as a pro plays it. Triangles, lovely stuff here. Palacios, loads of room to run into. Go on, son. As a pura. Palacios. Back to Pascual. You have to say it like that. It's the rules. Get it back. Get it back. Oh, for titty's sake. Brad Huber. We know about him. Very good player. We've got, so <laughs> we got so many defenders around him. We had six dudes around him. Right. I'm going to give it 10 minutes. How many subs can you make? Is, does this count as a proper match or like a friendly... Well, we'll just try it because there's no point in talking to you. You can't reply. Um, Javier can play as the ball-winning midfielder. Flores. Uh, we'll bring in the experienced Exposito can come in. Players that complete forward on support and see if we can do some damage. Let's try and bring on somebody else just in case. See if this works. Um... Sione can come in for Perez. No, he can't. Okay, it's three subs. Official. Like, last ten minutes. I just want to see if this formation is going to work against Germany, really. And see, maybe it is better than the five at the back. It doesn't help that we have no good left wing back. In in the Spanish world of football, there's not a single decent left wing back. Oh, uh, uh, and right wing back, in fact. Okay. Well, we came back into it. It's decent, decent second half. Very good second half. I'm very didn't create enough good chances. I'm tempted. You know, it's always safe to go with what you know. I'm tempted to go. Well, let's go with Owen. Yep, they've motivated them. They they they've, they've gone for it. Let's not get relegated. I'm not sure. Worried about winning the league and going through. I'm, Germany are going to probably get to the semis, but let's let's not. Get relegated is our job. Like, we leave Spain as, there you go, lads. You're now in Group B. Well done. Right. There we go, my friends. Not the result we wanted, but um, what I'm going to do now is browse the button, browse button. Um, Spain reacted. Well, of course, they lost. Of course, they reacted negatively. Yeah. Oh, in confident despite, yeah, good, good work. We've got, we got Abel Cerna got his debut. Did fuck all, but he got his debut. Um, if we look at the competitions, the group stage is going to be drawn on the uh, March next year. So the next game you'll see from me, we'll do a Wolfsburg update and then go and play a couple of the World Cup qualifiers. And I'll fill you in on what happened here. It's probably going to be ugly. Right. Thank you very much for joining, guys. If you enjoyed the episode, leave a like. If you didn't, leave another dislike. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.